Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this quick, easy, simple card. Um, to make this card I used just white card stock. A white card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half and burnished. I've already done that today. Two pieces of white card at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I have cut out a rectangle um, stitch rectangle for the middle, Ooh, a bit fluff on there, which measures one and seven eighths by three and three eighths, and that is for the middle. And I've also got a scrap of white for the vase and the tulip tops. stamp sets I'm using are Vibrant Vases. I'm going to use this vase, this leaf and this tulip. And the sentiment on the front is going to be just for you. Inside I have put just this little corner leaf thing here from Hold On To Hope and birthday bouquet I use the happy birthday so that's what we're going to use today right to get started all we need to do is stamp the vase and the tulips so the vase stamp Just stamp that down there. Nice. I did have a nice clean cloth yesterday. <laughs> right. And the tulips. We want three of these. One, uh, did that wrong, let's do it this way, one, two, three, that way is easier for punching them out, I'll show you in a minute. get our co coordinating punch and we will punch out the vase first no we won't oh I've done it all right. I was right this way I was looking at it upside down so there's one I'm going to have to stamp some more. Two. I looked at it that way, so of course the tulips were on that side. But in fact, I should have looked at it that way so that the tulips will be on this side. Two. Three. Oh, that didn't cut out very well, did it? Never mind. We will cut out the vase. 
didn't allow myself a big enough piece of scrap. There's the bars. I've got two tulips, I need another tulip. And I'll cut this one out. Three tulips. Get my bucket and scoop all the bits in. Right with these and my red, real red marker pen, I just coloured them in. actually took delivery of the rest of the marker pens so I now have all the colours in the marker pens that's it and then I'll do it now and it'll be done We'll stick a dimensional on the back of them. Oh, wrong ones. The little ones. One. Two. Three. Put them over there, out of the way for now. Don't need them anymore. But do big dimensionals on the back of the vase. That's them ready. Right. With this, I'll place our vase on. And with our stem, which I never got out, I will put this on this block. Right, I've got old olive ink. my stem what I'm going to do is put one there straight up I'm going to come down a bit I just need to guess where I'm going to come down to round about there so come down a bit and go at angle and do the same that way And then when you've got your bars on, you have your stems coming out of at an angle. Clean that. For the leaf, I put one there, turn it round, put one there. And turn it this way and just put one there. And then with the old olive pen, finish with this so we'll clean, close it up. I just coloured in the 
leaf leaves so there's more than one right we'll get our card and stick this on Grid paper's turned up in the corner and I keep catching it on my arm. Right, that's on. We need to put dimensionals on the back of this. One in each corner. And two in the middle. Take back and off. Don't know why I say that because you all know you've got to take your back and off. And place this in the middle. Nice and even. And then this is where you hope you don't make a mistake. For your sentiment, you want to line it up so the Y is at the edge of this rectangle. Just like that. If I'd messed it up, I would have just put a sentiment on it, the sentiment on it, on a dimensionals to cover it up. Right, finish with that. Right, I'll place our walls on. And then we can place, oh, that one's already got the back off. Our tulips on. And that is the front of the card done. Quick and easy. Right, to do the inside, I've got the old olive again, and the corner stamp, and all I did was place one in each corner, that in black yeah and just place that in the middle shut these up this in right 
there we have it one quick easy simple carp which I kind of like I hope you like this card if you do give us a thumbs up if you like my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon